Hello friends, Mrs. Doll here. Today I'm filming on location in Riches Bay. I'm with marine biologist Michael Dole and his assistant, marine biologist in training, Annie Doll. And today we're going to be harvesting kelp. We're walking out to the kelp lines. We're placed on a long rope in the winter the surface of the water and the cow blew off that line. I can't wait to see how long it is today. How heavy is it? <laughs> Come on, let's see how high you can lift it. Higher. <laughs> oh man. Alright, so let's just look down the line. Hey, hold it up again, Andy. Look at this. Wow. Wow, look at that. Whoa. <laughs> Going out this way. So, yeah, we got a serious amount of kelp here. Sugar kelp. harvested. Look how big and beautiful it is. Look how tall it is. Kelp is not only nutritious, kelp is delicious. Mm, mm, mm. Hey kids, I'm Mr. Dole and what I have here is some sugar kelp um, that I went out with Mrs. Dole and Annie Dole today and we harvested this sugar kelp and this is something I study. I'm a marine biologist and interested in sugar kelp because it's very good for the environment and it helps clean the water and lots of fish and animals live in it so I'm growing this now as part of a research study and uh, this is some that we harvested today and took home look how big it is and we took some home we're going to eat some tonight Mrs. Dole is going to make a dinner with some sugar kelp tonight um, and then we're also going to use some for putting in our gardens for fertilizer so we're going to go back here to our garden to put some in the fertilizer but seaweeds make great fertilizer, and sugar kelp, this is a, a, a type of seaweed that makes a great fertilizer. So that's what we're gonna do now. Bye. So I take my kelp, and I'm preparing it. So I pull it off by the stipe. This is the stipe of the kelp. Here's the blade of the kelp. And now I'm going to cut the stipe off. This part's called the, the hold fast. That's what it holds on to. Cut that part off, and I'm going to chop this part off, and we're going to cook it. The blade. So I have the kelp here. I'm getting ready to blanch it now. So I'm going to put it into water that's 180 degrees for about a minute, or even a little less, and watch it turn green. Just stir it a little as it's in there. See, it's almost instantly turning green. Wow, that was quick. That beautiful shade of green the kelp turned. During the next harvest, we brought it to a greenhouse to dry it for different experiments. So we brought the kelp back to the greenhouse. And we're now tying it in clumps together and we're going to tie it so we can hang it in the greenhouse and let it dry. We're tying the kelp up to dry in the greenhouse. the kelp growing in the greenhouse. Look at all that kelp. It's like a kelp forest. And there's more. I hope you enjoyed learning all about kelp. 
Bye, friends.